busy lady, you look so stressed out. I am, I am. Sometimes this world, it makes you want to shout. It can, it can. The subway's always crowded and I'm in the grind. And it feels like I am losing my freaking mind. Well, there's one secret weapon that every lady can share. Self-care. It's taking care of yourself. Oh, I think I know what you mean. Sometimes when I'm stressed, I'll make myself a hot toddy, curl up on the couch, and read Brandon Sanderson's Mistborn trilogy all by myself in private. Is that what you mean, Laura? No, you stupid cunt. That's not it at all. You can have a hot toddy, but make sure it looks nice. And then take a little picture. No, take it twice. Because the first pic looked like shit, and you can't put that online. So put the second one up, slap on that hashtag sign. Self-care. <laughs> and don't put that book in the picture, because it's lame. Oh, I get it. Self-care isn't about actually feeling good. It's about making it digitally understood that your Facebook friends can never hope to You feel better for one second. Or you could do yoga in a room full of goats. Wait, people do yoga in a room full of goats. Pay 200 bucks, a goat might climb on your back. What's more healing than putting that on Snapchat? But make sure you have the perfect filter on it. Because if you don't, why did you even take the fucking class? It's not about goats or warrior pose. It's showing off your body in yoga clothes And if you can't get your leg up over your head Then you're a piece of shit and you deserve to be dead Self-care If self-care happens in private and no one is around And it's not an Instagram, does it even make a sound? If self-care happens in private and no one is around And it's not an Instagram, does it even make a sound? It's And it's not an Instagram, does it even make a sound? I'm Laura. I'm Dominique. And we are Feminarchy. Feminarchy. Subscribe, please.